Hi and welcome to my guide. Today we are going to do the quest recipe for disaster freeing Scratch the Bone Crusher Uglock Wee. Quest requirements the big chumpy bird hunting, skill requirements 20 fire making and 41 cooking. Items needed any kind of axe and pickaxe, ogre bow. You can get this by talking to Rance from the Big Chumpy Bird Hunting Quest. A couple of ogre arrows. If you don't have any ogre arrows anymore, you will need to have some wolf bones. Use a chisel on wolf bones to make bone tips. Then next to Rance there are some anchi trees. Cut down anchi trees, then make them into arrow shafts. Use feathers on the shafts to make headless arrows and then use the bone tips on the headless arrows to make ogre arrows. Next, you will also need a iron spit. To get this you will just need one iron bar and use it on an anvil. Any kind of logs you can light. A tinder box. Ogre bellows. If you don't have your ogre bellows anymore, you can get it back from the chest in Rats' cave. One ball of wool a teleport to Camelot and a teleport to the Phelep Hills. Now energy potions are recommended because we will need to run a bit in this quest. Alright let's start the quest by inspecting Scratch. Yes I am sure I can get some Jumbly Chompy. Oh, okay then, I think I will talk to Rance then. Alright, now use your teleport to go to the Philip Hills and I will see you at Rance. Alright, when you've made it to the east side of the Philip Hills, talk to Rance. I am trying to free Scratch. Can you help? Okay, I will do it. Alright, now Rance will say to go to the watery place, just a bit southeast. So run a bit southeast. You'll see a transportation sign, east. There you'll find Rance again. Talk to him. Okay, here I am. I guess this is the watery place. What now? You'll see a cutscene of Ranch pushing down a tree. When the tree is down, use your axe on the old tree to cut down its roots. When you've done that, use your axe on the old tree again to make it hollow. Then talk to Rance again. Okay, the boat is ready. Now tell me how to get a jubbly. You will see a short cutscene of Rance shooting an arrow all the way to Karamja. Now he says we will need to get it, but before we are going to Karamja, run west to the Swamp Toes. So keep going west, you will see some yellow dots or that are level 64 aggressive wolves. Go to the west side of this small swamp. Use your ogre bellows on the swamp bubbles. To get ogre bellows 3, then use these on 3 swamp frogs nearby. And get 3 bloated toads. Then, when you have your 3 bloated toads, Go southeast, 
north of the Crimson Shifts and south of Rance. There should find a nice clear area where you can drop your bloated toad to catch some chumpy. So drop your bloated toad and hide. Walk a bit away from it and wait until a chumpy appears. Alright, when you see a pointing arrow on your minimap, that's a jumbly bird. And try to kill it. When you've killed it, plug it and take the rod chumpy. Now do this two other times. This is dependent on your cooking level. If you have a low cooking level, then I suggest taking some extra raw chumpies if you accidentally burn it. Be sure to bring enough raw chumpies if you have a low cooking, because if you don't bring enough and you burn all of them, you will have to return to the Philip Hills to get some more raw chumpies and then return back to Koramja to cook them. When you think you have enough raw chumpies, it's time to go to Taibo one Eye Trio. Teleport to Camelot. When you're there, Take the Silent Pass to Catherine B. Bank. There we will go to the bank and take 480 GP. Alright, use Bank Booth. When you have the 480 GP, Run south, onto the docks, go to the most southern dock, and charter crater crew member to Brimhaven, say OK, then cross the gangplank, and run south. Now we simply need to go to the western shore of Karamja, west of Taibo one Eye Trio. Keep running south, past the house portal, past Lubufu from the Taibo one Eye Trio quest. Pause the uh, fly traps, then go a bit west, past the general store, and follow the shore south till you see a transportation sign. At the transportation sign, you'll see a small tree hit by an arrow. Go stand next to the tree and light your logs. Then use your iron spit on the raw chumpy and then use it on the fire. If you get a ruined chumpy, use your iron spit on the other chumpy. Alright, just keep trying until you have a cooked chumpy. When you have successfully cooked a chumpy, you'll see a cutscene of the two children of Rand swimming towards you. Then board the ogre boat and say yes please. And you will return to the Philip Hills. Talk to Rance. Okay now tell me how to get Jubbly. Alright now he told you. I will need to go and mine some rocks. So run northwest. Pass Rance at the quest sign. Keep running northwest. 
pause the chieftain, go west. And you will see a mining sign. Then you will find a pile of rock. Mine it. And keep mining the pile of rock until you have three rocks in your inventory. Then, when you have that, go south southeast to the swamp to get some more bloated toads. Use your bellows on the swamp bubbles and get some bloated toads. Then, when you have three bloated toads, use your ogre bellows on the swamp bubbles again to fill it. Then, go east and return to the hunting spot of Rans. The same as from the big jumpy bird hunting quest. Okay, when you're there, use your filled ogre bellows on the bloated toads. It will make balloon toad. Do this two other times. At Rance's Hunter spot, drop one balloon toad and hide and just wait for a level 9 Jumbly to appear. Alright, when the jungle bird appears, kill it. When it's dead, pluck it. And then take the raw jungle. When you have the raw jumbly, go north. Almost at Rance's cage, they will find a ogre roast. Use the raw jumbly on the ogre spit roast. You will either ruin it and you will need to try again with another raw jumbly, or you will successfully cook it. And when you have successfully cooked it, just use Home Teleport to Lumbridge, give it to Scratch to complete your quest. Alright, enter the castle, open the large door, go north, right click on the Raw Jumbly. And use it on Scratch. And congratulations, you have freed Scratch the Bone Crusher Uglagui. You are awarded with 1500 cooking, woodcutting, ranged, and crafting experience, one quest point, and increased access to the chest. Alright, this was my guide how to free Scratch. Hopefully, it helped. Okay, thanks, bye.